So how do you take this derivative? Well, we got to use the chain rule. Why do we have to use the chain rule? Because we have a function inside of the square root, a function inside of another function. We also have to use product rule because see how we have two functions multiplied together. So we've got to do both of those things. So first off, product rule. So what is or what are we going to do for product rule? Well, we're going to do the derivative of the first function. So 2x times just the original function. So times the square root of 1 minus x squared. And then plus the original first function, x squared, times the derivative of the second function. So the derivative of the second function now is where we have to do chain rule. So how are we going to do it? Well, we're going to do the derivative of the outside function. So the outside function is the square root. So we should know that the derivative of that is 1 over 2 times the square root of whatever's inside. So of 1 minus x squared. Because remember, the inside just stays the same. And then you got to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So what's the derivative of the inside? Well, the inside function is the 1 minus x squared. So we have the derivative of 1, which is 0. The derivative of negative x squared. So times negative 2x. And there we go. That's the derivative. You shouldn't leave it like that, though, of course. You should try to simplify it as much as you can. So what can you do here? Well, remember that when you're multiplying by stuff, they're really just on top of the fraction. So this x squared and this negative 2x are really just multiplied together on top of the fraction. So with that, at least, we could cancel out these 2s. And what does that leave us with? It's 2x square root of 1 minus x squared plus, or should I say because of that minus 2, that minus is still there, so minus... And then x squared times x, x cubed, over the square root of 1 minus x squared. And there we go. That's pretty good. A lot of people would suggest leaving it like that. But I'm like, you know, it's in the title of the stream. Simplifying is forced. So I really think that we need to try to simplify this because I think it's going to come out. Now, why do I think it's going to come out? I think it's going to come out nice. Because I'm looking at this x, and I'm looking at this x squared. And knowing that when I multiply this by that, the square root's going to go away, and I'm going to end up with another x cubed. And so I imagine that's probably going to combine nicely with that x cubed. Is my idea, at least. So that's why I think we need to keep going here. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to do what I just said. We're going to multiply common denominator. So we got to multiply the top and bottom by that. So we end up with 2x. And then the square roots just cancel out, like I said. And then minus x cubed over that denominator. And yeah, again, we have 2x distribute minus 2x cubed. Interesting. Minus x cubed. So that's our new numerator. So, I mean, that, is, that looks better. Less on top. Well, it just looks better overall. That just fits in a few blocks. Yeah, so I would say that is a great answer. Should we check our answer? Why do I feel like I need to check this answer? I know the answer is right. But let's check it anyway. Where is it? It is... right here. Yeah, they continued on to factor an X out. Wow, they did crazy stuff. But yeah, that's exactly what we got. Beautiful.